the name of the game is consistency. Always, always consistency. The more Hey there, Coach Devin here. I am in the gym. I spend a lot of time in the gym because I own a gym. And now is the time of year when people start to make really stupid decisions when it comes to health and fitness. I mean really stupid decisions. They start to say things like, all right, I got a new workout program. I'm going to do this and everything's going to be great and I'm going to get super fit. And you say, okay, what's the workout program? And they start outlining the craziest crap you could imagine as their workout program. And you're like, and as a personal trainer and somebody who's done this for a long, long time, I gotta tell you, that stuff drives me crazy. There's nothing worse than seeing somebody set themselves up for failure for no good reason except the fact that they've come up with some crazy crap or found some crazy stuff online and people are saying, this is what you should do and I'm gonna work out like a lunatic for this amount of time and it's gonna be so great. And in reality, it's not gonna be great at all. In reality, it's gonna be terrible. So I have put together the three things you should not do when coming back to the gym in January or at any time at all. Before we get going, hit that like and subscribe down below, hit that little bell too, uh, and please share this with your friends. The reason I make these videos is I try to give good, honest, real information about health and fitness to help you get more fit. I've had a lot of clients over the years. I've been a trainer for 28 years. I have been a gym owner for 11 years. This is about the only thing I know, and so I try to pass on good information to people. All right, so let's get going. Number one of the three things you should never do when you come into a new workout program. Number one, don't work out seven days a week. Worst thing you can do, everybody's on this, you know, more, 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 more kick. I'm gonna work out seven days a week, three times a day. Don't do that. Don't be that guy, don't be that girl. It's a dumb idea. Because if you do it, it's not sustainable. You're not going to do it. You're not, just never gonna do it. You might do it for a week, or two weeks, or three weeks, or even four weeks, but in the end of the day, you will stop. And the reason you'll stop is you'll just be like, I'm really tired, I'm burnt out, something came up, and then you won't do it. The name of the game in fitness is consistency. It is not going crazy trying to do all, it's too much now. You don't have to do all your workouts for the next three months right now. It's not helpful, it's not necessary, it's stupid, it doesn't work, don't do it. So, you know what, what do you need? Did people say, Devin, how many times a day should I be in the gym? Once. Devin, how many times a week should I be in the gym? I don't know, four, five at a maximum? Take some time off, it's okay. Do not do too much. Don't set yourself up saying I'm gonna work out every day of the week because you won't. And then when you don't, you'll start kicking yourself, getting mad, getting down, then you fall off your program. It doesn't work. So that's number one. Do not plan to work out seven days a week. It's stupid, it won't work, don't do it. Number two. I know that sounded pretty negative, but it's true. You, you, you don't need to do too much. I don't work out like a lunatic every single day of the week. If I don't do it and I do this for a living, you shouldn't do it. Professional athletes don't do it. Come on now. Like, we're not better than professional athletes here, guys. Number two, when it comes to your food plan, don't be too conservative with it. Don't be too restrictive. Well, what does too restrictive mean? Too restrictive means you're saying, I'm never gonna eat junk food again. Okay, that is baloney. You will eat junk food again. I'm sorry, you were. It, it, it's just a thing. You're going to eat junk food again. It's okay to eat junk food again. I don't have a problem with junk food. I tell clients all the time, you can have two cheap meals every single week. It's fine. Not gonna hurt you any. And you know what? It will keep you on track because the biggest problem you can have is just doing too much. It's the same as working out seven days a week. If you say, I'm never gonna eat junk again, guess what happens? Then you get mad, then you get upset, then you're like, okay, well, maybe I'll fall off the wagon a little bit, and then you, a little bit turns into a lot, bad things happen. Don't do that. Don't set yourself up for failure. You want to set yourself up for success. Success means you don't get rid of everything. If you're somebody who wants a glass of wine sometimes, you can have a glass of wine sometimes. I personally like to have pizza every Friday night with my kids. That's my thing. It's a thing I like, it's a thing I enjoy, I do it all the time, we watch movies, have pizza. Been doing it for a long time, I can still walk around with abs, I can still be lean. You don't have to go bananas with this stuff, be smart. Be smart, think about it. It's okay to have a life and be fit too. They don't, they're don't. they not mutually exclusive. You can do both. You can have pizza once a week and still be fit. I do it, it keeps me sane. The, the junk food every now and then is not a bad thing. It's not gonna kill you, it won't wreck your gains. You'll be okay, don't, don't even think about that stuff. 
I had to check who was there in case, in case somebody was walking in when I was in the middle of shooting a video and needed help. All right, so that's number one. Number two, number three is take days off and sleep. Sleep. That whole hashtag no days off baloney drives me crazy. And I, that comes a lot from CrossFit, but everybody's picking it up now because everybody's like, oh, no days off. I'm going to work out every day. Okay, dumb. Uh, the whole, I'm never going to, I'm not going to sleep. I'm just going to work out more. Okay, stupid too. You need rest. Listen, the way you get more fit, this is the only way you get more fit, is if you exercise, that creates a stress on your body. Then you eat healthy and you sleep allows your body to heal from said stress and then you get more fit. That's how it works. So every time you work out, you break down that muscle a little bit. For the muscle to heal, you need to sleep and eat healthy. That's it. That's the science, guys. There's no other science. There's not an extra thing where you're like, oh, but if I do that, no, no, no. More is not better. More is sometimes worse. Don't go crazy. Sleep, 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 sleep. The more sleep you do, the more healthy you'll be. You need to sleep. It's super important to sleep. Sleep. You need, you know, seven to nine hours of sleep every night. Get them. Don't be an idiot. Don't be like, oh, I don't need any sleep. That's a bad way of doing things. It's a terrible way of doing things. You won't be happy with the results. You'll get less fit if you don't sleep. If you don't take days off and just relax, you'll burn out. When you burn out, you'll stop exercising. When you stop exercising, you don't get anywhere. This is not, it's nothing new, right? I'm not giving you rocket science. I'm giving you obvious, real stuff. This is simple, simple stuff, guys. It's not rocket science. I can promise you, I'm not giving you something that you don't understand. It's actually really, really easy. If you just listen to me, you can get more fit. It's, it's not hard, but you have to do it. So to sum up, sleep more. Take a day off, rest. Doesn't hurt you any. Number two, don't work out seven days a week. Bad idea, never do it. It's not gonna work for you. It might work a little bit at the beginning. It'll cause you problems down the road. You'll burn out. You get stressed, your body won't handle it well. And number three, have some cheap meals, enjoy your food, have a good time. It's okay to enjoy your food. In fact, it won't hurt you in the least. It may actually help you get a little more fit because then you will stick with it. The name of the game is consistency. Always, always consistency. The more consistently you can do something, which means you pick something sustainable that you can do long-term and then keep doing it again and again, that's where you get good at things and that's where you win. You try to bite off too much, it never works. If you have comments, questions, things you want me to talk about, write them up down below. I'd love to hear from you. Have yourself an amazing day, everybody. Go fight the awesome.